Welcome back to comics, to Hot Comics TV. I'm Batman, black and white. So this is volume one, and I think it's the volume that I care the most about. I don't know if they've done an omnibus of this. They should have done this a long time ago, because this is a very nice idea. I don't know how monumental it must have been to get all of these creators, all of these refined talented artists to come in and sort of collaborate to do short stories of of Batman um, so here we go uh, Ted McCavers um, McKeevers I don't, I don't know how to say Ted's name sorry um, work on Batman very unique vision from these men and I like the fact that they've given a little bit of spiel for each artist that they're contributing to one of the best properties of all time, Batman. So here they got a little bit of spiel of what he's doing. Okay, so Bruce Team, okay, for things to come into the future, right? Bruce Team, what is left to say about Bruce Team? He influenced a whole generation of men and, and, and women by he doing his work. On the cartoon of the Batman TV series, I mean, I'm pretty sure he has an army of fans. I'm one of them. How he, his cartooning is so effective. It makes it look simple, but it's anything but that. It's so well executed. Harvey Dent. See, it's so well, well, well put together what Bruce Team does. Just amazing. The Hunt. Joe Kubert. I mean, this is why I ended up getting this collection because, uh, I mean, we got Joe. 1994. Beautiful drawings. Master class artist. <clears throat> the expressions, the way that he elaborates the uniform, everything. Pity Grimes. Oh no, this is um, Howard Chaking. Okay, Howard Chaking. Awesome stuff from Howard. Very stylish, just beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah, this is Jose Munoz. So, this story is quite odd because this jazz musician that's just Playing the trumpet leaves the streets. It's very unique the art that this man brings onto the table. Then the Batman crushes him. This is cool, the production of things. Mm, Walter Simonson, okay. It's nice, very nice. It's so cool. Mmm, Corvin. This is probably the reason why I bought this. <laughs> I'm a Corbin fanboy. <laughs> I mean, Batman by Corbin, can you believe that? This is outstanding. Creepy looking Batman, creepier than usual.
Just outstanding. Kent Williams. Gotta look at his paintings soon enough. I mean, he broke from comics to do fine arts. And Kent Williams is by far one of the most talented artists that I've seen that have gone from comics to fine arts. Just amazing work, all in total. Just love this so much. Jorge Safina and Chuck Dixon. Yeah, this is nice, this work. Mm. <laughs> Simon Beasley. Okay, <laughs> second reason why I got this book. It's amazing. Uh, we gotta take a look at the other Batmans that have short stories that Simon Bisley's done for DC. <laughs> look at the caricature of things, it's just amazing. <laughs> yeah, but this is what Simon's good at. Ah, Lava, of course. We, you cannot have Batman without Lava on it and Joker. still standing stuff oh wow okay so we got Kent Williams's sketch work that's awesome wish this was bigger this book Klaus Jensen yes okay Nice stuff. Nice, 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 very nice. Liberatore. Oh my god, I mean, the collection of people that are here. <laughs> the Nino Liberatore doing a Batman, people. Can you believe that? After we saw Rank Xerox. This is beautiful ink work. Oh my god. Look at that. It's penciling in. Gonna like left it on it. Outstanding. Just outstanding. My goodness. Leave it a toy to doing a Batman. Here you go. What a collection, huh? Matt Warner, Wagner, sorry. Very stylized. Nice. Bills and Cabbage. <clears throat> you cannot have a Batman without Bills and Cabbage helping, right? I don't know Tavy H. Christensen. I don't know these gentlemen. This is nice work. Alex Stott. Haha, <laughs> Brian Bolin. So, literally, this book's got all my favorites. <laughs> oh my god, it's immaculate, isn't it? Oh my god, so good, so good, so good. Brian Bolin, what a, what a master. Kevin Nolan. This book should be bigger. Like, that's all I gotta say. That's my complaint. This should be bigger, it shouldn't be comic book scale.
Gary Gianni. I think Gary Gianni did Monster Man. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm, in, I'm incorrect. But this is beautiful work. I think we saw this on the floppy. Brian Stephens. 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 Sorry, Brian. Nice. And very high contrast. Very contrasty. Contrast cartooning. Oh my god, Otomo. Ah, uh, that's the elephant in the room. I haven't talked about Akira yet, have we? Look at these. Oh my god. This, this, uh, Otomo, Otomo. What a master. Can you imagine if the Marvel gave him enough money and they told him take Spider-Man or uh, I don't think he would take on the X-Men. It would be that would be too crazy, but this crazier things have ever happened. Can you like Yeah, anyway, I'm I'm gonna stop mumbling about that. But can you imagine Otomo going to Marvel and doing something like that for them? Look at the Batmobile. Biotomo, Bruce Wayne Biotomo, this is quite awesome. Again, my only complaint is that this book is so small. To, to do it justice to a lot of the work from these guys, master class of artists, a collection of artists, is that they should have printed this at a larger scale, especially with um, behind the scenes of how they constructed the thing, or how they elaborate on their art. That, that would have been the thing. So we got art by Mobius. Uh, is this Michael Aldrin? Yeah, right. Kaluda. Michael Kaluda, my goodness. Just outstanding. Who's this? Tony Salmons, okay. Nice work. Craig Russell, Mark Silvestri, Alex Ross, Neil Adams, uh huh. Well, there it is. This is um, I don't know who this is. Anyway, don't mind. Um, what a collection, huh? Anyway, thank you so much for your time, for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and all those good things. Um, Till next time, bye-bye.